welcome back to Farm Girl Diaries. We're going to be doing something really, really exciting today. And I don't know if I have enough butter to do it, but we're going to do it. So this year I'm trying to make my life easier for me in so many different ways. Um, I had the really brilliant idea. Actually, what well, wasn't my idea? Um, I think I got the idea from Becky at Acre Homestead. But anywho, <laughs> that's not where the idea came from. I think it's a brilliant idea. I marinated a whole bunch of chicken in the fridge in the freezer. I've actually gone through it all, so I need to do a whole other batch. But I really love having this marinated chicken on hand because it means when I have a busy day and maybe I'm working in the garden all day and I have I'm harvesting vegetables and all that fun stuff, I just pull a frozen chicken from the freezer, throw that on the grill with some fresh veggies, and it's a super simple, quick, and easy meal. It's also great if people come over last minute. Um, again grab some veggies from the garden, whatever's coming in, toss on some chicken. So I really like that idea, and I'm trying to come up with ways, I'm starting to think about how I want to come up with ways on doing that, doing that same idea um, with other meats or other meal type ideas. But I have another idea, and this is, again, I think going to help us save some time. So we're going to be making a whole bunch of different compound butters today. So my thought process with these compound butters is I'm going to freeze, I'm going to make them, and then I'm going to freeze them in like individual pucks. And then when I'm grilling, when I'm cooking the sauteing vegetables, whatever, I can just grab a puck out of the freezer, toss it in my skillet, and I have the seasoning for my vegetables basically ready to go. I will still need to kind of like add salt and all that stuff to the vegetables, but this will be a lot of the seasoning right off the bat. So we're going to be doing a couple of different varieties today. I have two and a half sticks of butter. So we're gonna see how far this gets me. I didn't wanna go through all of my butter right now. Um, so we're gonna do two and a half sticks and see how far we go. So I know for sure we're doing a garlic butter. I think we're gonna do actually a lemon garlic butter, compound butter. And this will be great on everything from vegetables to uh, meats. Lemon garlic butter is the way to go. Um, if I had fresh lemons, I would use fresh lemons. I don't. Um, so I'm just going to use some bottled lemon and we're not going to judge me. <laughs> um, I also have a lemon garlic uh, seasoning that I'm going to be adding to that lemon garlic mixture. Um, this is a pampered chef spice, so we're just going to add that to give it a little bit extra of that flavor. Um, we're going to do a chili lime uh, compound butter. I'm only going to do a little one of this, but this is again another pampered chef recipe or pampered chef spice. We're only going to do a little bit of this one because I'm not sure how often I would use it. This would be mainly for like chicken and potentially steak or like fajitas. Um, so I'm not sure how often I'm going to use this one, so I'm just going to do a little bit of this one. We're going to do a rosemary garlic. Nope, that's not rosemary. Rosemary garlic. Rosemary is one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite herbs. It smells so good. Um, so I do have some more. I don't know quite how much I need, so I just get two. I just got two sprigs for now. Um, and we're going to use, especially the rosemary garlic, my favorite way to use that is on potatoes. So when I'm cooking potatoes this summer on the grill, um, I can just toss in a puck or two of the rosemary garlic and that will flavor my potatoes expertly. We are also going to be doing, for the dessert side of things, a maple cinnamon compound butter. And that'll be great on toast, on breads, on pancakes, uh, French toast. I'm really excited for that one as well. I think that's... Oh, and then I missed this one. This is my favorite herb seasoning. I buy it from the store. It's McCormick Grill Mates, and it's garlic and crushed herbs. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. It's really good. So we make a compound butter out of this herb. Um, yeah, all the ingredients there are sea salt, spices, and herbs. <laughs> garlic, sugar, lemon peel, and citric acid. So it doesn't matter what this is. But I really like this. I'm going to be making um, some compound butter out of this. So when it comes to compound butter, there are so many different things you could do. I found things with fruit preserves in them and, and all kinds of fun things. So this is a great time to use your creativity and try to think, when you use your butter, what are you using your butter for? And how can you add things to it to make, you know, if I'm putting my maple cinnamon butter on toast, I'm elevating my toast rather than just using regular butter, I'm using this fancy butter. It kind of elevates it. I'm excited about this. I think this is going to be... Fun. I don't know how much to use, so I just have some butter that I got from the freezer. We're just going to start here. I think we're going to start with my lemon garlic first. So I'm going to kind of just eyeballing everything. Let's see. 
because um, we're just going to kind of roll it into pucks anyway, into a log and then into pucks. Um, lemon garlic or a garlic parsley would be good, good, good too. Um, I actually don't have any parsley grown in the garden this year. I don't actually use a lot of parsley. So I would say the only time I would want to use parsley is when I'm just trying to add the color. I don't, I don't honestly think, I know people say, like one of my favorite people ever, Ida Garten, says parsley has a lot of flavor. I'm not disagreeing with the queen, but I just don't see it. <laughs> I just don't see it. So I know that I want this to be garlicky. I know that I'm not going to um, slather this on some toast and eat it. So I did add a good amount of garlic and I'm not honestly too worried about there being too much garlic because I know I'm going to add it into like sauteed veggies and whatnot. So I know, is there such a thing as too much garlic? So all I do is I have this butter and I actually did put the butter in the microwave just to soften it so that I could easily kind of mix it together. And I just did, so I did my garlic, I did a nice heavy tablespoon, a splash of lemon juice, right now I'm trying to get that lemon juice incorporated, and then I did a, a heavy sprinkle of this Pamper Trap lemon garlic seasoning to drive the point home. Okay. Oops. I'm splashing that lemon juice everywhere. Let me show you what this looks like. You can see the flecks of garlic in here really, really well. I don't know if it's shown up on camera. You can definitely see those flecks of garlic. I'm gonna move this aside for now. And in order to wrap these, see how easy that was? That was one all but done. We're gonna take, you can use parchment paper, I'm going to use wrapping paper, or wrapping paper, plastic wrap, and you just want to take your butter and kind of put it in the middle, and I have a spatula here to help me, and you're going to roll it into a log. I'm going to get as much of the goodness out as I can. And then I'm just going to roll this into a log. And then secure the ends. And that is one log done. So this is going to be the garlic, um, lemon garlic. So I want to make sure I write that on here. Think of how easy this is going to be when we are cooking, when we're grilling. We can just get out an already measured, well not already measured, but an already spiced piece of butter and toss it into our veggies. It's going to make life very nice. Okay. So again, I'm just kind of, I think I need to go get more butter. <laughs> kind of eyeball on the butter. We're done with the lemon and garlic. Let me do the garlic and rosemary. This, I'm going to go a little lighter on the garlic. Um, I didn't go quite as heavy as the, as the other one. And you could run your knife through these rosemary leaves. I'm not. I know how I'm going to eat them. I know I'm going to eat them with potatoes. So, I'm good. I did give these this these leaves a wash though. 
and got them all nice and clean. Okay. I had to break them off the stem a little bit because some came on the stem. I'm so excited. I think these are going to be so fantastic. And this is going to take literally five minutes of your time. That's going to be great. Okay. I did forget soup. Oh well. I am not using salted butter, so I do want to salt my my compound. I didn't salt the lemon and garlic, so I just have to remember to salt that when I cook, and I'm sure I will. And you can use a hand mixer for this. I just don't feel like getting it out and messing with that. When mixing this one, you had to be more mindful about where the rosemary leaves were so you didn't have rosemary all in one side. So you want to make sure we got it fully combined and evenly incorporated. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. And I am just using the same bowl. Um, I will use a different bowl when I get to the cinnamon maple one for the dessert one. Then I will use a different bowl, but for now we're just using the same bowl because it's largely a lot of the same flavors. Just make, make your log. Nice puck or a nice log of soon to be pucks of rosemary garlic butter. Four. So this is, I think I even, I think I've got in the right amount of butter for four. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. So I'm not going to do the chili lime one. I'm not super excited with the chili lime one. I think it'd be really good, especially on chicken, but I'm not like, yes, let's do it. So I'm just going to skip that one and we're going to do this one as my herb blend that I really like. I'm going to go heavy on the herb because I know I really like it. And again, I know I'm going to be seasoning a lot of vegetables with, with it. So I'm going to go heavy. Again, I'm going to add garlic, a moderate tablespoon. And then salt. Oh, okay, this one I think I'm going to have to use my hands because it is still pretty solid. My hands are clean, but it's still pretty solid. I'm going to use my hands to warm it up. Sometimes your hands are the cook's best tool. Child, or was that Rachel Ray? <laughs> Two very different chefs, so I forget who that was. So there are so many different things that you could do with compound butters. You could make all kind of fruity ones. You could add preserves like strawberry or raspberry preserves to it, and then kind of melt that, maybe put that over a piece of pound cake. Add preserves and put it on like a piece of toast. Mm-mm. Okay, I got this one I think pretty combined. So let me wash my hands and then get him rolled up. I think I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of this to it because I don't think it has enough color. I want it I wanna make sure it has a good amount of flavor in.
Now we're on to the last one, which is the maple cinnamon, and probably the one I am most excited about. When I make pancakes, oh, I think I could have used this bowl. What am I doing? I'm making a whole oh, other bowl messy. Yeah, too late now, but. Um, anywho, <laughs> when I make pancakes, I always make a cinnamon maple pancake. Um, and I love cinnamon maple, maple pancakes. And when you go to Texas Roadhouse, you always get their, uh, I forget what it's called, their, their special butter. So I want to make this myself. I've made the Texas Roadhouse butter before but I've only made it for fresh even like I've never made it like this way to freeze with, like a puck so I think this will be really good so I'm just doing some brown sugar and some cinnamon now I'm just going to do a dot of maple syrup I need to get a new spoon And then get this guy all mixed up. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good on some cinnamon raisin bread. I actually don't like cinnamon raisin, I like cinnamon bread, but cinnamon swirl bread, I think is what I mean. It's gonna be so good. This one smells fantastic. Of course, it's so that cinnamon, but I'm here for it. going to be fun. Okay, last one. I did not add any salt to this one. I don't I think it's probably fine without salt. I think. Okay. Let me wash my hands and then get this guy rolled up. You have four compound butters ready to go in the fridge. They're going to go in the fridge for an hour just to harden, and then we're going to bring them out, slice them into pucks, and then just throw them into Ziploc bags to go in the freezer. Then when we need one, we just pull one out and use it for our cooking. How fun!